hello guys welcome back to my channel now this is what most people might find shocking okay now president Cyril ramaphosa is actually the one that authorized the siu to investigate allegations of corruption and maladministration in the nlc's affairs now if we can take it back a bit you guys will remember that terry petzo was actually amongst the eight people that benefited from the illegal funds that were released now in the beginning of course she denied she said she knew nothing about it this is a difficult time for me terry petzo denies involvement in lots of fraud you guys will remember that funny enough when her house was auctioned her lawyers did not contest they said go ahead you know auction the house i would think for someone who claims to be so innocent she would fight but anyway so this is the house guys now the special investigating unit which is the siu which um is investigating oh terry petal for lottery fraud announced the auction now it said the grant money that was supposed to help the poor let's just put it like that were used to buy land in Bryanston and construct the property on it now the three bedroom house complete with two bathrooms an open plan dining area as well as a rooftop garden and entertainment area went under the hammer on thursday but only 28 people registered for the online auction a handful of journalist officials from the special investigating unit and asset auctions staffs were amongst them now the opening bid was listed at um, 4 million rands after no offers were made it was reduced to 2.5 million rands still no offers were made now if you guys take a look at this house people that physically when they said um it actually is a bit smaller than it looks in pictures and videos so yeah now renfrew described the auction as difficult what we will do now is wait for offers to come through which normally happens when you don't get offer when you don't get an offer on the auction people will submit offers in writing after the auction the SIU investigation found that the money used to buy the land in Bryanston and to construct the house had allegedly come from non-profit organizations that received NLC funding meant for the rollout of a public campaign around circumcision. Now that you have it, Mzansi, do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below. Honestly speaking, for a house that was going for 4 million rands and it's on auction, meaning if it wasn't on auction, it was going to be, you know, a bit higher hi man it does not look appetizing you know if you're gonna spend your four million rands at least the house must look like a four million rands worth of house do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below now of course a lot of people are celebrating others are saying i will never celebrate black um, person's downfall i hope terry Pets will recover from this um it's not a downfall she got caught okay it's not a downfall let's get that correctly i don't know who taught some black people the word downfall but other things are no are not downfall people you just get caught gp houses and less bedrooms a house having three stories and just three bedrooms it baffles me how they think i'd rather have five or six bedrooms and one lounge do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below the special investigating unit would like to announce that Mui Terry Peto's house that was built with funds linked to siphoning of the National Lottery Commission grant funding will be auctioned today, Thursday, the 2nd of March 2023, at 11 o'clock. The auction follows a preservation order granted by the High Court of South Africa Houghton Division Pretoria to the Asset Forfeiture Unit and the Special Investigating Unit on the 4th of November 2022 to freeze Petus Bryanston home. The SIU investigation has found that the money used for the purchase of the land and construction of the home came from a non-profit organization that received NLC funding meant for the rollout of a public campaign and a culturally sensitive medical intervention project aimed at achieving traditional circumcision practice. After the preservation order was granted, Petus legal representative contacted the SIU and the AFU, indicating that they will not contest the preservation order granted by the High Court. The auctioning of Petus House is continuation of the implementation of the SIU investigation outcome and consequence management to recover assets and financial losses by state institutions and prevention of further losses.